Good morning, everyone. It's great to be coming with you today and on this broadcast. Thank you for tuning in. I trust that the things that I say today will be a blessing to you and to help you. In John 14 and 1, it says, Let not your hearts be troubled. If you believe in God, you believe also in me. I want to tell you, we live in a broken world today. It seems like there's just so many things going on, so much crime on the streets, so much stuff on the news that it's bad. You can look at that things and you can really look and say, well, there isn't no hope. But I want to encourage you today. That word of God says, let not your heart be troubled. If you believe in God, you believe also in me. And then he goes on to say, in my father's house, there's many mansions. If it was not true, I would have told you so. And he said, I've gone to prepare a place for you that where I am, there you may be also. I want to encourage you today if you're discouraged and things are not going right with you, I just look up to the Lord and, and ask the Lord to help you in this situation. Oh, there's so much sickness going on today. Hospitals are filled with people. There's all kinds of infectious diseases that are going around. If you get your eyes on these type of things, uh, you really have a hard time dealing with life itself because you've got to look to the author and the finisher of our faith, which is Jesus Christ. And when you have Jesus Christ in your life, everything seems to work better. I love the part of uh, the Word of God that talks about that. And it's, it's really interesting to know that we're really living in the time of the last days. We are living in a time where it seems like there are even uh, the government's talking about they may default in the next day or two. And uh, who knows what's going to happen if there's no money to pay the bills and that, that happens. I want to tell you, there may be a time coming up on this earth where we'll have to deal with problems like that. I hope that we can reach an agreement uh, that we can keep our government afloat because a lot of people's Social Security checks and everything else is at stake. But I want to tell you, don't let these things bog you down. Trust in Jesus. Have faith in God. He says, I will supply all of your need according to your riches, as, according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. So everything is going to go well with you if you'll just keep your eyes on the Lord and trust him day by day. I'm praying for you, friends, and I hope that uh, you have a great day, and God bless you real good today.